Former football star, TV pitchman, and now Nevada prison inmate will have a lot going for him when he asks state parole board members Thursday to release him after serving more than eight years. His sentence for an ill-fated bid to retrieve sports memorabilia. Why does he have a chance to win his freedom this go-round? For some perspective, our News for Justice legal analyst John Phillips here on The Morning Show. Eight years into a 33-year sentence. History and a clean record behind bars worked to his advantage. We're basically talking good behavior here, right? We are. It, it, he's, he re was reviewed for parole uh, about uh, two years ago, and they, they gave him parole on some of the charges, but because some of the other charges ran consecutive, uh, he's, he's had until October 1st to remain on good behavior to possibly get out. Yeah, you're talking about what happened in July 2013. So basically they're saying, all right, you can get parole on some of these charges, but we can't give you your freedom because you haven't served the minimum amount of time required. Correct, because a firearm was involved uh, based upon the, you know, the conviction. Now, if you, if you look at some of the legal analysts weighing in on this case, they say, you know what, if this were an ordinary case, he will be paroled. But O.J. Simpson is never an ordinary case. He's not an ordinary case. It's, it's, and, and we go by inmate number 1027820 until, until he's out. Longer uh, than the number he wore in his jersey. <laughs> it is. That's, that's his current number. Um, yeah, it's, it's it, it, a lot, other people are saying, you know, he wouldn't have even had to have served this time but for his name being O.J. Simpson, and he was almost punished for the prior crime, right, uh, that he was acquitted for. So it, it's, uh, everybody seems to think, and even the prosecutor has said, eh, we're behind parole here, he's, he's served his time, uh, but it's, it's going to be interesting to see what he does with it. Is, is there anything that could get in the way of him getting sprung? You know, we've reviewed all the requisites, you know, good behavior, employment history. It's a point system. It's a point exactly. system, yeah. you know, and every, every single thing. I think he had two points. So everything saying that he should qualify for parole, uh, these same parole board members have voted to give him parole, you know, on some of the charges previously. So I don't see any, any hurdle to him actually being paroled. How about conditions of parole? Anything specific? Um, you know, it, it'll be kind of... What people expect uh, with with remaining on good behavior, drug free, no firearms, uh, the the kind of usual suspects, um, but he'll be able to to you know act as a normal citizen. The, the the larger inhibition for him will be what he does with his time because of the the civil judgment. He's got a thirty something million dollar uh, wrongful death judgment that's going to limit how he earns money because if he's if he whatever he does he's gonna have to give it over to the goldman estate look he's he's not been known to you know live beneath the surface here <laughs> he's usually pretty vocal do you think this go around knowing what's at stake with that civil suit that he may be a little quieter i don't think he has it in him bruce i i i think that's just going to be part of what he does is is you know we're in a reality tv era and so I, I don't see how he can be an ordinary citizen and live beyond the radar. And I, I imagine that question is going to be asked on Thursday. You know, what are you going to do with your time to be a productive citizen? And if it's, well, I'm commissioned to do a reality show, that would be kind of the reservation and give him a couple of points against him. The reality is he's almost 70, and theoretically we get wiser as we age, but... Uh, it's, it's, it's O.J. Simpson. It's O.J. Uh, I, I would love to quote a Johnny Cochranism. You know, if, if the glove doesn't fit, you must acquit. Uh, it, it, uh, it's O.J., and so who knows what he's going to do. Speaking of which, it, it's really interesting. You're going to actually be with Bob Shapiro in L.A. on Thursday. It's, it's crazy, yeah. We're going to sit at council's table with him at a hearing. And so, you know, of all days, we'll be in California on another case while O.J.'s being, uh, you know, on his parole board. Now, Bob, Mr. Shapiro doesn't have anything to do right. with O.J. anymore. In fact, O.J., I think, owes him some money still uh, on, the, on the other case. So it, it's going to be interesting, and, you know, it's, it's my sincerest honor to sit at council's table yeah, with, with I can Bob imagine. Shapiro. You know, it'd be interesting. If, if he's amenable to it, if you chat with him a little bit, just send us a video Absolutely. about his feelings, and we'll, he, we'll air it here. I, I got him to do one last week, uh, or last time I was up there, and he left a white, he left a message for my wife saying, you know, and, and again, it was to my wife, saying I was the best lawyer in America, and I was like, ah, you know, so Mr. Shapiro, no. just, uh, so I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was actually pretty uh, complimentary. John, thank you. Absolutely. We'll follow this case, let you know what happens Thursday, and you can share this interview for some more perspective on the morning show page of newsforjacks.com. Whether or not OJ gets released still to be determined, whether